What up, YouTube? What up, YouTube? What is going on? Listen, I just got back from the Health and Wellness Summit in Miami, and I gotta tell you, it was a good event, man. We had it was nice to see everybody, see uh, so many familiar faces, so many new faces, so many people excited for things to open back up again. Be able to go out there and network and and talk to other barbers, but also so many people that wanted to invest in themselves and learn so much. And I gotta tell you, man, being at this event, man, it was refreshing, man, because this event was not necessarily a barber, just a barber battle or people selling things but it was it was health and wealth right so the first speaker spoke about self-worth pretty much and and having confidence and believing in yourself I think he he motivated a lot of people the second speaker wow blew me away me and my wife we've been on our health our health thing but he said something that really hit me man and he said you know I talk about generational wealth all the time and, and generational wealth it's always to me it's always meant happiness health and finances and money but the way he broke it down was we constantly speak about generational wealth and a lot of people they're talking about money but in a lot of cultures even if you live here in the states you know hamburgers are a thing hot dogs are a thing but if you're latino like there's a lot of, like heavily seasoned foods that are not healthy for you it's cool it's amazing but it's become part of so many cultures to do that every single day you know that's what dinner is that's what lunch is that's what breakfast is and it's become generational you see diabetes is, is all-time high alzheimer's dementia all-time high the life expectancy is down for people across the board and part of it is because generationally we've been declining when it comes to health awareness and so he talked about generational health and changing that for your family tree by being informed by eating more organic foods it doesn't matter what your diet is i thought that was very very that was an amazing class man that was probably my first favorite class of the day he was a, a holistic doctor or something like that really really cool and then at the end we had a lot of my favorite barbers like patty cuts Bodie barber and we had a q a that was a good time we wrapped it up and uh yeah i came home but man i'm excited Excited for things opening back up we got cleveland barber expo coming Bronner brothers ct barber expo if you can make it to one of those make it it's gonna be a blast while i was there i always tried to, to spend some time out in the crowd say what's up to everybody connect with people and answer questions you know um, but somebody handed me this right here this card he's building his youtube channel he said basio this is my youtube channel man if you could check it out let me know what you think about it. that'd be cool so i decided i'm gonna react to whatever this goes to. To whatever this goes to, I'm gonna react, okay? So, I got my camera. All right, boom, come on. Then I just read it, we're gonna click that, and let's see what it takes me to. Look, so this is what it says on his screen. There you go, we're getting it done. Watch and subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, so I'm gonna click the button, and here's his YouTube channel. We're getting it done, this is his YouTube channel. <laughs> So this is not the type of content you guys usually like to watch, but we're gonna watch it anyways because I know it's an important topic. He got his fruits on the table. I like the setup. Get back with another episode of Health and Wellness. You know, we talked about it before and what life stress is all about, what life anxiety is all about and in different ways that we experience it in real life. I can tell you anxiety is a, a a battle with me man let's talk about stresses in day to day you know i'm a barber so i'm always repping for the barber community the stylist we don't just stress ourselves our clients stress and we listen to them and their problems we got our own problems but we listen to them and their problems we get stressed too you understand what i'm saying we get stressed too oh um, man we can't be living a stressful life and we focus on health and wellness health and wellness so we got to learn how to alleviate this stress that we be getting from the barber shop as a barber coming out of school if you go to barber school you come out of school you anticipate making this money and this and that you may or may not be making what you thought you would be making coming out right i've seen a lot of barbers quit before they had their time to shine I be seeing it all the time about cobber sections. Like when I talk about finances as a barber, there's always that guy that says, nah, you don't make a lot of money in it. I did it for 20 years and I overworked myself, couldn't retire. You are an exception to the rule, I feel like, because it is more than possible. That's just be lack of information. That's just bad decisions, in my opinion. If you work 20 years in the barber industry and you can't retire, 
you made some bad decisions throughout your career. I'm not knocking nobody. I just want to make sure that that's clear that you can more than retire. Being a barber is being somebody who's self-employed. We are not the only self-employed people out there, right? And not all barbers are self-employed, just like in other in industries that are majority self-employed. Not everybody's self-employed, but there are millions of people in this country that are self-employed who are able to build wealth, provide for their family, and one day retire. And there's people in all of these industries that make bad choices and end up saying the same thing. I, this doesn't work, I did it for 20 years, never made much money, couldn't retire. Man, man, and here you are in my video where I'm telling you how to do it and that I, I'm and showing you a lot of different examples of people who are doing it. Success leaves clues, so do failures. But that brings on stress, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we talking stress. That brings on all types of stresses. Hey, when you think you about to make this money or you see another barber that's, that's a veteran in the game and he's making this money, getting his bread, laughing, joking and stuff, you over here like, damn. Every time the door go open or the bell ring on the door, you uh, <laughs> fall behind. To get a cut, you know what I'm saying? That brings a lot of stress. We need to focus on keeping things healthy and so we can be well and live this life and make this money and enjoy the money. We don't want to be at the point where we're making all this money and we can't enjoy the money. That doesn't make no sense, right? Or we passing, giving the money on to the doctor. It's like, Sir, hold that, hold that, hold that. We can't live like that either. So we got to understand That's the true. stresses, the stresses, the stresses have to be dealt with. This is why a lot of health insurance companies give you discounts if you are a gym member or, or, or things in that nature because somebody who takes care of themselves costs less money, <laughs> you know? Hit them with an arm stretch. Uh, get an arm stretch in real quick. You know, hold it. Hold it for a minute. You know, I just did a quick one, but hold it for a minute. This is awesome, bro, because I didn't know that this his channel was going to be about this. And I told you guys how my favorite part of the health and and wealth summit in Miami was with the doctor. One of the things that he talked about, if you want good night's sleep, one of the things that you do is you stretch before you go to bed and you stretch after you wake up. Because if you think about it, when you go to sleep, a lot of times people will wake up with kinks and 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 feeling terrible is because you didn't stretch before you went to bed. Never have done that. I've never done that in my life. And now I'm going to put that in, in my lifestyle. I'm going to start practicing that. You can do at the barbershop, standing up, no problem. This guy knows you what know he's talking I mean? about so far. But we bend into touching our toes, stretching, all types of stretches that we can do. That's just one way to alleviate stress. One of the most powerful ways to alleviate stress at the barbershop, especially when you got a minute or two in between cuts, Right? I know my man, man, I'm too, I'm too busy, dog. I, I don't got no time to be stretching <laughs> Always shit, that guy. You know what I mean? I, gotta, I hope not. You can't be too busy for your wellness. I hope not. You know what I mean? You, too hey, busy to live you longer? Put yourself first and put your health up there on the top shelf. You know what it is. And we got to make sure that we stay on top of everything. Right? We already in the community holding them down. Right? Who's going to hold us down? We got to hold ourselves down. And that's what this is all about. That's what you're going to do. We're going to help hold it down for everybody. Barbers out here nationwide, worldwide doing it. You know what I'm saying? So that's one of the things we got to do is relieving our stress. Make sure you get them walks in. That's what I'm leading up to. Walks. You know, I was like, he just talking about No, walks. That's what I'm leading up to. You got to get them walks in. So in between haircuts, walk it out. You know what they said? Walk it out. Um, most of the time I do it at night uh, after dinner or something. I will go and do the stair climber at the gym. And then like my we ordered a Peloton for her for for her birthday. We got I got her a Peloton. So I'm gonna be using that thing, man, like after lunch or something. Something to stay active, you know what I mean? Like he said at the shop, man. The fact that we stand up is a good thing that we stand up all day because honestly the way that barbers eat, if we were at an office job, most of you guys would be sorry. But yeah, definitely gotta, gotta gotta do something, man. Like at the shop, I remember at the shop, when I was in the shop full time, we had a pull-up bar and our customers loved it. We had the push-up, we had the push the the push-up things that twist or whatever. And I'm talking about in the shop, man, like we used to literally do push-ups and pull-ups in between clients. And our clients actually loved it. You know, they would get into it. It almost became like the culture in the shop where, you know, we we would have competitions doing push-ups, you know, betting money. Can you do this many push-ups? Who can do more push-ups? Us. It was a good time, man. And honestly, and like the other day, I remember we were in the shop, and this c customer comes in, and he's like, "Bro, this this shop has to be the most in shape shop I've ever seen." That said a lot, bro. That said a lot. But everybody who got an excuse and the reason why they can't do it, right? Must say it's too hot. 
It's too cold. It's too windy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Stop making excuses and make it happen. You might want to think of something. If you're not walking, if you're not stretching, you might have to figure out something that's going to help alleviate the stress while at work. You know, we got all types of stretch bands. We got all types of things that we can do for cheap, yep. right? Or for free. Yo, we had a barber at the shop, JP, who, you know, the, the rollers. So JP, he's an OG, man. He's been doing this. He was barbering for over 20 years at that time. And on crib that he bought, and owned second one nice car him and his wife nice cars two kids he had his stuff together and every morning he'd come in with this thing he would come in with this thing and he would stretch before he got his day started at the shop isn't that crazy he was like so ahead of his time man this was this had been like five years ago definitely and in, in shape muscle ups and everything not gonna cost you much of nothing so let's not make excuses on why you can't do it worried about if you just mess somebody's hair because if they're gonna come back to your chair or not right that's a stress you know what i mean like, damn i think i put him in there oh man i don't know if he coming back or not you all in your head you want to get in your head where a lot of the stress happens you got to get out your head to me it's like bro stop stressing the future and I struggle with that, but not not for stuff like that. Like, if you stress for stuff like that, how will you ever get to the point where you're stressing really big problems, right? Like, there's really big problems out there. Imagine being a CEO of a company and you got millions of dollars a year in bills, payroll, and all these things. Those are the stresses that you want to deal with because what comes with it is success, but a lot of responsibility. So if you're stressing whether somebody likes the haircut or not, man, you can only control what you can control. As long as you checked all the boxes and the things that you could control, you made sure that it was to your quality, you gave it your best, you showed that you cared, you did everything that you had the power to do, you can't control anything after that. So just focus on those things, man, and you gotta have short-term memory. You got to have short-term memory. Once they're out the door, it's time to stop thinking about them and start focusing on the next person in your chair or what you could be doing in between clients if you don't have nobody next you could be doing in between clients what you have control of doing like marketing uh whatever it may be growing yourself um those are the things that you can control for me what stresses me out is if i'm not doing something because i'm in control of that you see what i'm saying so if i'm just sitting stagnant that gives me anxiety right i gotta do something because i'm in control of that but the work that i do and stuff uh, a haircut for example I'm not stressing whether they're going to come back to me or not, you know? All right, sorry about that. I went on a little bit of a, of a rant. wanted you to do something else. He probably told you, unless he's passive-aggressive, right? But let's say this. Don't stress out about it. Stressing is not going to do nothing about it. So all my up-and-coming barbers out here in the game, you know? He says stressing is not going to do nothing about it. Bars. The only ones that felt these feelings, no, you're not. Money, cash, credit. Which one do I do? Can People say all the time, money isn't everything. Money can't buy you happiness. But I can tell you, if that's a missing piece in your life, everything else is a roller coaster. It's not stable. Because money is absolutely one of the top reasons for suicide for divorces for all these things all these things like people could be happy for most of their life and if they don't have that pillar in their life everything else can come crumbling down so it's absolutely important and we need to stop patting people on the back or, or having these little illogical thoughts that we're sharing with people to make them try to feel better temporarily by saying money ain't, ain't everything boom 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 i get what you guys are trying to do man but that's temporary relief or something that can become worse over time you got to get your money right you got to get your money right so that you have that pillar to 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 help you continue keep your health and your happiness cash credit oh do i do my taxes right all this stuff this is a stressor i'm one of them myself I'm yeah, the same baby here. boy being around other, Other barbers. barbers. You don't want to be around, right? Then people mess with your energy. I've been there. Trust me, I've been there when I first started the YouTube videos. People, why you cloud chasing or oh, why you making videos, wasting your time? Why you raise your prices? Always going to be somebody hating, bro. Don't let them mess with your energy. Kind of like them or you tired of hearing his voice and all this and all that. And you doing this. You got to do this day after day, year after year. But yeah, man, if, if, if I'm in an environment where a lot of barbers are like that, man, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? I stick to myself. I let the shop owner know how I kind of feel that I'm going to keep myself away from specific people. As a man, that's it, bro. I'm not, I'm not going to let the... 
other people kill my vibe, kill my energy. I focus on people that bring me bring value in my life and I can bring value in their life. So we don't even have to see him. We might hear him, but we still got to see him. So that's another stress. All right, so listen, I'm not going to finish watching the entire video. If you like that video, man, definitely go check out his channel. He's got 41 subscribers. Let's get this number up, man. If you enjoy that, those topics, it's a very niche topic for sure. The comments are turned off. Turn them comments on, bro. Turn them comments on. Hit the subscribe button. Look forward to seeing more of his content. And guys, if you like the video, please do smash the like button down below. I'll leave a link to his video in the description below if you want to watch the rest of it. And with that being said, man, listen. He came up to me at the Health and Wealth Summit with a really cool card. He didn't ask me to do this. I just thought that this was really cool, that he's traveling, he's investing in himself. It's expensive to go to these shows. He's pushing this, he's handing them out, he's putting in the work, he deserves a shot, man. So all I can do is is try to, to, to show love to people the same way I wish they would've showed love to me, man. And with that, hopefully you guys show him love as well and go subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow.